I would be incredibly happy with Rina. I lost the 50 50! Subscribe, please! Yagi Polity, let's go, let's go. It's time to pull for the Yanagi. So, uh, I'm actually at, uh, let me see here. Uh, search history. I'm at zero pity. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. We literally have zero pity. But I've got 123 pulls. I actually have a bit more. I actually have a gamble time. You know it is. But if I lose the 50-50 chat, I think it's cook over. I think it's it's cook over if I lose the 50-50. Is there a new bang boo? No, there's no new Bang Boo, right? No, no, no. There's like some 4-star, but not 5-star Bang Boo. So I think if I lose the 50-50, it's pretty much freaked. So hopefully we win the 50-50. And uh, yeah, there it is. So guaranteed in 90 pulls. Um, let's go with the first 10 pull. Um, here, I actually already have MB, M6, I believe. And Billy, I don't really care about him. So the 4-star characters here, I'm not interested in. But uh, I just want Yanagi. Um, I hope I get her. If I don't get her, I'm not sure if I can keep pulling, to be honest. Because I, I kind of want to save for uh, whenever Miyabi comes out. I doubt I'll pull for the weapon either. So, I guess we'll find out. Let's see Let's see if we can get lucky. Thank you for the pat-pat of luck. Let's go. Ten pulls. <laughs> Getting an early five-star would be so good. I mean, S-Frank, sorry. Ba -ba -ra -ba -ba -ra -ba -ba. Alright, let's see what the earrings are. I hope they're off banner characters, because I really don't. Well, it's another MB, fair enough. And it's a Billy. We got the two A ring characters on banner, fair enough. Alright. Oh, I actually didn't have her M6. I guess I should have her M6 now. Oh, I had her M5. My bad. I really thought I had her M6. When Abby uses her EX special attack, she gains uh, 8 stack of charge, max 8 stack. When she hits an enemy with her basic attack or dash attack, act 1 stack of charge is consumed, increasing attack damage by 45%. So it gives her just more damage. Okay, cool beans. And here I've got him M4, so now this is an M5. So I can get one more copy of him. All right, 20 pulls. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Are we getting five bands? Please, no. Please don't troll me. I, I just want an early Yanagi, and I want to win my 50-50. Please don't bully me again, video game. Lately, I've been so unlucky, especially with Nikkei. I, I really hope I don't get so unlucky this time. I, I'm praying so hard right now. Next set of 10. You think I'm getting an early Yanagi at the... Oh! Okay, I'm happy about this one. Little Corinne out of nowhere. I'm happy with this. She's so cute. Look at her. How many of her do I actually have? So this is M3. Cinema 3. Mindscape 3. Imagine getting two Yanagis. Ain't no way. Alright, 30 pulls. Let's go. Ah! You lied to me, Gate. We have three A rank, though. Alright. Show me the good, good. Show me the good, good. Yeah. You tried, you sure did, you sure did try. But you failed! You failed! Bully her game, bully her. No! Mm, please don't do that! Uh, okay, that's an extra copy I don't need. That's a copy I could need, so I think I have him. Oh, Seth! I'm pretty sure I have Seth M6, don't I? Yeah, I already have him M6. And see, now she's M6 too. Um, I think this is actually his M6. Alright, 60. Okay, so this is 40th pool. Oh! I'm early! Oh! Oh my god! An S rank! An S rank! Two of them! Two! Two S! Oh my god! Did you call it? If that didn't get dreamy! Did you call it? Imagine if it's actually two Yanagi. There's no way. You know what? I would actually 
I actually think losing the 50-50 here would be better because that means I would be guaranteed Miyabi in the future. So I gotta lose the next one. Please don't give me a second y Yanagi. Listen, I like Mindscapes, but I prefer getting more characters. So if I can guarantee Miyabi, based. I would be incredibly happy with Rina. I lost the 50 50! Yes! Yes! Okay! Well, it's not Rina. But I'm still super happy. I lost the 50 50, which means I'm guaranteed any other character I want. This is insane! I never see someone so happy losing. Yeah, but like in context, it makes perfect sense. That way, the next S rank I want is guaranteed. This is the perfect. Well, it's not perfect. If I had gotten Rina, it would have been perfect. Because I could use Rina in the same team as Yanagi. But this is awesome. Oh my god, this is so good. Yo. Ah, it doesn't upload the year, but like we saw that we got. Koleda afterward. So that means I still have 89 pulls. I used... I was at 123, right? Or like 120 something. So that was like 50 pulls or 40 pulls. So I did like 40 or 50 pulls and I got 2 S rank and the second S rank I got was a loss 50-50. Which means that now I'm guaranteed any S rank character I want and I already have basically 90 pulls ready for them. This is awesome. That means that, let's say, when um, Miyabi comes out, I can probably get her and try to get her weapon. This is so insane! I got so lucky, it's ridiculous! Yo! And I still don't have Rina, no. Uh, I think you forgot something incredibly unlucky that happened to me. Is that when I lost 50-50... I've gotten a lot of weapons, and from the permanent banner, I got two weapons as well. I got, like, the Steel Cushion from here, which is the signature weapon of uh, Nekomata. And I also got the Restraint, which is the uh, signature weapon of Lycon. And then from losing a 50-50 here, I also got the Steel Cushion. So I got three weapons instead of getting characters, so I still don't have Rina. Uh, the favorite features, uh, yeah, I'll definitely use the favorite. Um, so those characters are my favorites. I'll also put... Oh my god, she's so pretty. So let me just very quickly activate the mindscapes. Uh, basic attack, dodge, see special attack, that's, yeah, whatever. I get to have, um... Top less uh, Billy if I want. When Billy accumulates 10 hit on enemies to get a perfect dodge, his damage increased by 6%, stacking up to 5 time. The effects reset if he's knocked back or launched by enemy. Okay. Look at him, looking good. Corin has her M3, which should be just more talent points. And finally, we have MB's very uh, saucy, half naked uh, picture here. All right, good times. Okay. Now you can also say, exactly, Dreamy, you mad lad, you said I would get two S ranks. I was like, eh, ain't no way. You were right. You were right. Early double S rank. Absolutely bananas. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So we're going to have to level her up here. Um, in terms of equipment, I'm definitely going to use the Rainforest Gourmet. I'm going to need to level this up, obviously, but this is going to be the best for her, I think. Um, and then here I'm going to be using some of the new stuff, right? So I'm definitely going to be using the blah, 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 Chaos Jazz. I don't really know if I have something good here. Anomaly Mastery, Anomaly Proficiency, Crit Damage. Um, this is okay. Here I literally have nothing good for her. Uh, crit Rate, Anomaly Proficiency, Anomaly Proficiency, Attack, HP, Defense. I feel like this one is probably the best here. And then here, pen, crit, eh, crit damage, and proficiency, attack flat, penetration. This one is pretty good, I guess. It's okay. So let's equip that. 
And here we have anomaly proficiency, attack percentage. Uh, this one is probably the best. And here, anomaly proficiency, crit rate. Ooh, anomaly proficiency, attack, attack. Attack, anomaly proficiency, attack. I don't think she uses a uh, crit, does she? I think this one is probably better. So now for the second part here, in terms of equipment, I'm kind of... Okay, so essentially, in terms of what you want on Yanagi, I highly recommend going Chaos Jazz. The reason why is that with two-piece Chaos Jazz, obviously you are getting some anomaly proficiency, which is something she really, really needs. And on top of that, if you go for a four-piece, you do get the 15% daytree damage. I know a lot of people are talking about, oh, what about getting the electric set, right? Thunder Metal. Thunder Metal only gives plus 10% electric damage. And since you already want the, the Anomaly Mastery, might as well get the Anomaly Mastery from Chaos Jazz and then get two more pieces to get electric damage plus 15% because it's going to be higher than that. So rather than go like two piece, two piece, and then two pieces of something else, might as well go four piece of this and then get two piece of either Swing Jazz would be my recommendation if you want to play her more as a um, off-field like a sub DPS burst character, as in like you put her on the field, you make her do all of her attack, you switch her out. Getting energy regen is going to be very useful because in that case, you'll get more um, energy for your EX skills faster. And that way she can fulfill that role. If you want her to be a little bit longer on field or if you want her to be your main DPS, in that case, I could recommend going for something like... Um, I would say Freedom Blues for the extra anomaly proficiency here, right? So if you want her a bit more on field, four piece Chaos Jazz, two piece Freedom Blues. If you want to play her a bit more like a sub DPS and she's going to be mostly off field, as in she's not the character that's going to be spending the most time on the field, you're probably going to go four piece Chaos Jazz, two piece Swing Jazz for the energy regen. Those would be my recommendation. At the end of the day, um, I think stats are going to be better than like potential buff here, than the set effect. So if you have perfect stat in any of those, go for the one that is better, right? So here, for example, I'm gonna check my energy regen because like I'm probably gonna put her in a team with um, what's his name? What's her name? Uh, Jane. I know a lot of people will be saying, oh, like Jane and Yanagi, they both want a lot of on time, on like on field time. And I think it's not that true. Jane does want a lot of on-field time, but Yanagi, you can switch her in, do a combo, switch her out. It's actually really not that bad. Uh, she's very versatile, definitely. So here, for example, uh, electric damage bonus could be good. Um, she doesn't absolutely need electric damage bonus. She can definitely run her with something like uh, attack percentage or even uh, penetration, right? It's not the worst. Uh, but I think if you have electric damage and you have the potential to run electric damage, you should probably go for it, right? So here, for example, uh, electric damage, and then in the substat, you want something like uh, attack percentage, penetration, um, and anomaly proficiency, obviously. So here, checking real quick, I'm not seeing a lot of great option in terms of main stats um, for swing jazz. So the best option I have here is probably going to be either this one, um, even if there's like, there's a lot of depth stats here. So maybe if this one gives me, let's put this at level three, defense. Ooh, it's not the best. We really want some melee proficiency. What I'm going to do, do I not have a single freedom blues in here? Oh, they're here. Yeah, I have nothing with like attack percentage, um, electric, but I mean, I, I could run pen. Pen, pen, pen. Do I have pen? Uh, pen ratio, anomaly proficiency. Like, that's definitely an option. I could go for that and get that energy regen. Uh, and then here, let me let me say energy regen. And if I check here, anomaly proficiency, crit damage. There's a bit of pen. That's too good stat, but like the upgrade went on the wrong substat. Anomaly I'm not moving this one, not moving this one, not moving this one, not moving that one. Pen, no. No good stat. Man, none of those good. What about the what about here? Anomaly proficiency, crit. Ooh, that's only one good stat. Anomaly proficiency, attack percentage. This one is okay. Pen, crit, anomaly proficiency. Okay, let's see what we get here at plus three. Defense. Okay, anomaly proficiency and defense again. Okay, this is not great. 
but it's use it's usable. Let's put it this way. And here we also have anomaly proficiency. Show me what you get. And pen, anomaly, HP, e, and HP. Uh, it's a bit all over the place. Definitely not fantastic. Um, still gonna keep it because it's not the worst. And here, what do we get? Anomaly, crit rate, eh? Crit rate twice, pen. Okay, here I think the most important stat is definitely going to be anomaly proficiency. So I'm just going to grab the one with the highest one, which is 18% here. So let's replace that. And on the other side here, I am going to grab the electric damage bonus or just an attack percentage. Or a pen. Pen ratio. Pen ratio. Don't I have a single pen ratio with anomaly proficiency now here? I don't. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. What I could do... Because I can probably take this string jazz away from MB and give MB something else. It's not a big deal if MB doesn't have electric damage. Uh, I mean, she definitely prefers that. Okay, freak it. Pen ratio. Adobe Persian in pain ratio. Pen? Pen? Betrayed. I'll equip this in the meantime. So, in the meantime, this is gonna be definitely okay. Crit rate, crit damage, defense. I'm getting trolled. Holy crap. <laughs> Those pieces are crazy. They just keep giving me crits. I don't want your crit rate. Get away from me. Oh my god. None of those are rolling on the right substats. I know proficiency. Attack flat. I know. My cat is crying too. All right, well, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. We're gonna have to work on those, definitely. Now, moving on. In terms of weapon, a signature is definitely gonna be the best. But you can also use Rainforest Gourmet as a free-to-play, or you can use Weeping Gemini. Um, I would say that Rainforest Gourmet is probably gonna be the most useful one because it, it straight up gives you animal proficiency, anomaly proficiency up to 75 at level 60. Um, and then you get buffed by consuming energy. And she uses a lot of energy by um, using your AX special and holding the ability. She will use it three times. So she's going to get all of the stacks super, super fast, super, super high. This is very, very good. Now, the problem with Whipping Jiminy is that it gives you attack percentage, which is not the worst. Uh, but to get the anomaly proficiency, uh, you need to inflict an attribute anomaly on an enemy. This is not terrible. But this is a bit rougher to use. I think overall, just getting the flat out enemy proficiency as a base stat is better. Now, you can also use Electro Leaf Gloss if you have it. I think it's going to be harder. This is the Battle Pass um, weapon. And it's going to be harder to get more stars. But it does give the same amount of enemy proficiency as Rainforest Gourmet, which is pretty good. And on top of that, when there are enemies inflicted with attribute anomaly on the field, the equip is attack increased by 10, and they deal an additional 15% more damage to the target. This is pretty good. Uh, but I think overall, it might be harder to get that at 5 star, but you can work on it eventually if you want to. So for free to play, Rainforest Gourmet, I think, is a great option. Now, in terms of order weapons here, like Roaring Ride, I think it's pretty bad because the buff doesn't last long enough. I'm not going to talk about 3 star weapons. Uh, and then, like, Sharp Stinger and stuff like that, this this is too geared toward physical damage, so I would not recommend it, unless you really want to use the statistic for the 90 anomaly proficiency, that's something you can do. And otherwise, I think something like the Compiler, which I think is the weapon for Grace, is usable. I don't have it, so I can't really say much about it, but yeah. Uh, so, moving on. For skills, if you play her as a DPS, you're probably gonna have to level up absolutely everything. I would focus on the core uh, skill enhancement first, because that's got to be um, her special ability. Obviously, this is a special disorder. Uh, damage increase, right, which is very, very good. And uh, so you want to level this up at, like, level at E. F, if you have enough resources, but if you don't, that's okay. You can always, like, w slowly work on it. And then you want to level up her special attack and most likely her... Uh, chain attack, I would say. I think the EX, uh, the special attack is going to be most important. And if you play her as a DPS, you kind of want to level up everything. If you're playing her as a sub DPS, where you're, she's mostly going to be uh, entering to burst and then get out, then in that case, I think you probably should focus on chain attack and assist. Uh, dodge and basic attack can be kind of ignored for a while. So that's my, um, that would be the priorities for abilities. And now in terms of base stats, 
as I was saying earlier, you want her to have as much anomaly proficiency as possible. You probably want between 350, 450, just as much as you can. Um, you want a decent amount of attack. Um, so I would say try to aim for like 250 or something like that. And uh, crit rate, crit damage, you can completely ignore. This is irrelevant. Now for anomaly mastery, you want to have between 140 and 190, something like that. So that's pretty much how you build her. She's pretty easy to build. Um, I think all the, the the advantage for all the characters that are, you know, um, anomaly is that they're way easier to build because you don't need to struggle with crit rate, right? As you saw earlier, I'm still not lucky, but it could be worse. It could be rougher. So I am ending up not being in too much of a bad spot. So that would be what my recommendation would be in terms of all of that for her build. In terms of team, I think she's very she she is very versatile in my opinion. So you can make it work. Some of her best team, I think her best team is probably going to be something like uh, Bernice Yanagi, and then any kind of buffer like Caesar, or you know you can even use Lucy, or you can use someone like Seth. Uh, all of those options are going to work. But you can definitely go for some amount of, like, um, Mono Electro, if you want, with, like, Rina and Grace. You can also go for, like, double DPS with her and Jane, for example. There's a lot of um, versatile uh, team composition that she can fit into. Uh, that would be it on my recommendation for her. And um, to finish this off, I did get enough to do a 10 pull on the Pernan Banner, so... Let's see, I got lucky. Let's see if we get in a little bit luckier. I doubt it. Nope. There we go. Alright! Ah, uh, jeez, that was a lot of A rank. I can't believe I already have those two, like, Mindscape 6. Another copy for Corin, though. And the word Benoi! This is so cute, by the way. Oh my god, it's as is here. Okay, never mind. We're not watching this. <laughs> anyway, uh, for those on YouTube, seeing my pulling session. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope the little guide aspect was helpful in any way. Leave a comment. Let me know. Like, subscribe. All the good goods. See you later.